This is Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by heavyweight contender Huey Fury. Huey, how are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. Thank you very much, Paul. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Um, news obviously broke last week. You're one of the more well-known names, I think it's fair to say, to have joined the new era at Sky Sports Boxing. Um, just tell us, first of all, how that came about and, and what attracted you to make the move to Sky? Um, I think what made it uh, attractive is that Sky can, I think Sky is the biggest platform in boxing. That's what we joined in the first place. And I believe Sky will get me the right fight and get me to where I want to be. And I want to be world champion. And I don't think you can get no bigger than Sky. Was it difficult because you'd worked with Matchroom for a while? Was it difficult leaving them behind, um, at least for now, to, to go to Sky and uh, Boxer? Like you say, I don't have no um, animosity against anyone. It was just that was what was best for me. And I believe that was the um, to get me where I want to be, the right fights and stuff. I've got to think about my career and getting out there as much as possible. That's what I need to do. And we spoke to Eddie Hearn uh, just after the news broke. And he said that they did want to keep you. Like There were talks. Um, but he, I think the way he put it was, you're very valuable to him, but not as valuable as you would be to Squire because you'll be there kind of leading heavyweight. Yeah, it's like, um, obviously, with uh, Sky, I said, they'll get me the right fights, the right fights I want to be, and they'll get me where I want to be. That's all it's about in this sport. I want to have the right team and to get all the way because I believe in myself and I believe I will be world champion. And do you believe you've got that now? Obviously, you're, you've got Peter training you, excellent trainer, everyone you know, believes in him. Now you've got Sky behind you as well. Do you think all the pieces are in place? 100%. Everything happens for a reason and this is uh, the right path now and this is the way forward. And what did you think when they presented um, Christian Hammer as your first opponent October the 16th, of course? Because that's a pretty impressive statement from Sky, I think, that, that that's your first one for them. Yeah, 100%. I don't want to mess about. I, I, I want to um, be in good fights and... Uh, as soon as he mentioned that name, I said, yeah, I'll take him. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to be in pushover fights or just warm-up fights. I want to be in good fights to get me to where I want to be. And have Sky spoken to you about what the pathway is for you to get to that world title shot or another world title shot? I think just get one fight at a time through. And um, first get Christine Hammer and then we go from there. Now, we saw you out, obviously, against um, Alexander Povetkin. Um, that was your most recent defeat on your record. Close fight. What What did you make of it? What did you learn from that fight? Um, all the, every fight I've talked learning from, but people don't understand. Before, it was a man against a boy. From your body shape, from changing from then to where now, it's a difference. But that's what I put it down to. It's a man against a boy. And now, I'd love them fights again. But obviously, um, time goes on. And how has that changed? Is that just like natural growing up or, or are there things you've changed in training? Why are you more mature physically now? I think when you're heavyweight, I, people got to understand that I started, um, I turned pro when I was 18 year old. Mm. And obviously, I still had a boy's body. I still didn't have my man strength or anything. And I was fighting these men. I was jumping in with anyone. It never bothered me. But I think it's just... It's, just, it's nature, isn't it? The more older you get, the more mature you get. What does that say about the skill set you've got, though, that you're able to compete on, on, you know, even terms with these men who are much older and much physically, much more physically mature? Yeah, people's not seen uh, anything yet, yeah, and uh, that's why I can't wait now. And that's why I believe everything has a reason. And that's the path I'm on now. Everything's come together at perfect timing. In the last couple of fights, when we've spoken to Peter, he's talked about. Um, getting you more active on the front foot, being more aggressive at times, that kind of thing. What's the focus in training now? What's the kind of little things that you still want to change to get to where you want to be? We're always uh, working. We're always working on different um, aspects of it, of the skill. But uh, the good the good thing is we're always improving. and We're always working on new things 24-7. And people are going to say, see a big difference in the next fight. And you obviously share a gym with Savannah Marshall. She's a world champion. She's joined Sky as well. How much of a boost is it for both of you to be working with each other? Because you're both very ambitious, both fighting at world level, you know, pushing each other on. 
yeah, listen, it's like um, it's like family, really. Me and Savannah, it's nice to be in the gym together. It's nice to train together, especially fight together as well. So it is. It's good to uh, be on the same team. Now, a lot of people in the UK, the last time they'd have seen Christian Hammer is when he fought your cousin, Tyson, of course, a number of years ago now. Just tell us how you think the Christian Hammer of now compares to the one from back then. Uh, obviously, the Christian Hammer from back then, he's obviously matured. He's had more fights. and He's uh, a lot more uh, durable now, isn't he? So he's more of a seasoned pro. Um, obviously, you can't beat experience, but when you fight and keep fighting all the time, it's you're going to build up that experience. But I'm looking forward to the fight and I'm looking forward to the test. And obviously, uh, Peter was in Tyson's corner when he fought Hammer, so he must have a bit of an inside track, a bit, quite a lot of knowledge about Christian Hammer. Yeah, 100%. Listen, my dad knows best. I listen to every word he, uh, he says. So, like I say, he's the best trainer in the world. So, uh, I've got full trust in what he tells me to do and what we've been working on. Now, there's another big heavyweight fight coming up a couple of weeks before yours uh, between Anthony Joshua, who's obviously the unified heavyweight champion, and Alexander Usyk, uh, mandatory challenger. What what do you make of that fight? Uh, do you, you know, a lot of people saying Usyk's too small. Others are saying he could be a really tricky, dangerous opponent for AJ. What what do you think? I think it's going to be a it is, it's going to be a very dangerous fight um, for uh, for Joshua. Joshua has, has improved, but um, Usyk is a very dangerous fight. He's a south boy, he's tricky, he's more smaller, uh, and it's going to be uh, awkward, to be fair. I think it's not going to be an easy night work for uh, Joshua. If you had to kind of pick, do you, would you still fancy Joshua to come through? Fancy Joshua more with the power um, towards the later rounds with Usyk. But then you fancy Usyk very skillful and he won't be there to land them power shots. So it is a, to me, it is a very 50-50 fight. If uh, Usyk sticks to his uh, boxing, then uh, he, he could also, but people don't, has underestimated U6 power as well. It's been talked about a fight between you and Joshua a number of times over the years. He's, at the moment at least, still working on Sky. Does this, you moving to Sky, him being on Sky box office, does that still make it likely that could happen in the future? Never know, 100%. Now the fight's for one, I want the belt. So if that fight could happen, even better. You, obviously, you say you want the belts, one of the belts is held by Tyson. Is that a fight that could ever happen with you being family? No, would no, that never happen. So you'd need you need him to vacate or someone else to win it. That never uh, becomes a circus act. That never ever happened. No. All right. Well, f- fingers crossed for your sake. He vacates or someone else wins it. If you want all the belts, obviously, I know Joshua's got them. You know, two of them, hasn't he? Three of them. Yeah, like I say to you, it's, it's the belts, what's the um, thing is, so just the, the world works in mysterious ways, so we just got to wait and see. And just generally, what's your mentality like now? You've obviously struggled with injuries in the past, um, the uh, issue with your back as well, the skin condition, that can't have been easy, but now it, everything seems positive. You're still young for a heavyweight, you've joined Sky, a huge platform, and you're their kind of number one heavyweight. Aside from Joshua, who's only on box office, of course. 100%. Um, everything uh, was that a breaking point for me when I was younger and stuff. So I've, I've had all them problems. I've had all the best of experience. And now everything's on the way up. It's like anything. You've just got to stick in and um, always believe. And everything will come right. Is there any sense that some of those issues you've gone through have made you stronger now? 100%. It's like them issues there. You've got to... Uh, could have put me out of boxing, could have made me uh, retire young. Um, but for some reason, in the back of my mind, I always just carried on through. What is it in those moments that has kept you going? What is it What is it that's kept you kind of focused on your goal, even when everything's been against you? Uh, just something deep down, knowing that that's where I'm meant to be. And you don't want to waste that, that kind of potential? No, 100%. I wouldn't... Uh, if I didn't think it or if I didn't believe it, I would pack it in tomorrow. Great stuff. And just before I let you go, for people that Sky subscribers who maybe haven't seen you in the last couple of years, what can they... I know you've been on Sky in the last couple of years, but ones that haven't seen you recently, 
what can they expect on October the 16th? Uh, it's going to be a very exciting night and uh, trust me, it's going to be fireworks. Great stuff. Huey, really appreciate your time and uh, I can't wait for the fight. No problem. Thank you very much, sir, and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers, mate.